Hi everyone, welcome to the Monday Angel Reading. I'm Rachel Skoltok and I'm going to be pulling you some cards today to give you some guidance from the angels for the week ahead, give you some insights to this new energy that is coming in. You know, we're in this portal at the moment of the awakening. So I'm going to be giving you some guidance about that and just see how you are doing in all of this massive trans transformational energy that we're in at the moment and just in the physical how are you managing with the um, being in quarantine isolation and social distancing how's it all going for everybody so i've got two decks of cards out today they were the ones that wanted to come out for us so i'm going to pull us some cards for the week ahead first up and I'd love to know, while I'm shuffling, I'd love to know if you did some meditation yesterday, um, if uh, you joined in the mass meditation or whether you did your own, and what kind of images or visions or downloads you've got, um, if any. And if you haven't done it yet, you don't have to do it all at the same time. Like it's, it's, you know, it's not necessary. We're all connected to divine source together. And so you can add your prayers, your meditation today, you know, at any point this evening, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, just sit down, do some prayers and, and do a visualization of wrapping the world in light and bringing source energy and set some intentions for the highest good of, of all, including peace, healing, love, connection, compassion, whatever it is that you would like to see. And then hand that over to divine will may the highest happen according to divine will and so it is and then just let it go and just sit for a moment and see what what comes what comes to you you can if you've already done it do it again you know all of the light and love that we can send to our um fellow people and also to the animals, the birds, the plants, the rocks, the minerals, the planet Earth in, in general, you know. So I'm using um, the Angels and Ancestors deck, which is a Carl Gray deck. haven't used it for a little while. And I've also got Archangel Michael here. Really nice. Okay. And I'm being told to pull one for from the Archangel Michael deck. So I hope you're joining me this Thursday, which is the free masterclass. You get to spend 90 minutes with me and the angels. We're going to be doing some um, powerful work. I'm also going to be teaching you some secrets to opening and clearing your intuition. And that's free. So go over to my website and sign up for that because um, that will close, you know, um, the, uh, the morning of because I need to know numbers. So let's see what the angels have to say, what Archangel Michael is giving us. Oh, okay. Two, he says. Here we go. All right. So the first card out, which is the present situation. This is probably one of the most important cards in the reading because it gives us um, an overview, a theme, if you like, about what it is that we most need to know. And this is Shailen Master. It shows... Um, Look at the dragon behind, that really stands up to me, and the, the orb. And this is about, and oh, we've got a praying mantis as well, which is encouraging us in our prayers. So it's about being graceful in mo movement and action. But I'm feeling like the stronger message of this is about calling up your power. And this is something that has been coming to me over and over and over again ever since this situation of the coronavirus started, is that... I'm feeling that many light workers are are um, have been challenged because their inner light, their third eye, keeps switching off, and that's new, not through any fault of your own. It's just the heaviness of the energy and some other things that are going on, and so we are all having to focus and be strong in realigning our energies, in grounding calling in our guardians, our, protect, our protectors. You see the dragon behind the, um, the figure in this card. Um, I put a, a message out the other day, which was Saturday, about calling on your animal spirit guides, your power animals, um, the ones that give you courage, that give you strength, that, that remind you who you really are and remind you of your power. 
You don't want your power being switched off, whether it's through fear and panic, as in, oh, I feel powerless, I feel, you know, afraid, and, and you go into that victim feeling, which is easy to do, feeling persecuted, and be very conscious of what you're allowing into your system, what you're reading, what you're watching, what you're talking about. If you go into anything, and it doesn't matter what the source is, that, that makes you feel like I'm powerless, we're powerless, then it is not good for you. It's not right. It's not correct. And so you have to call up your power and your power animals, your guardian angels, the Archangel Michael, the other archangels, your spirit guides are closer than ever, if that is possible, and are with you, wanting you to remember your power. So you, every time you feel your power switch off, you've got to switch it back on again, okay? Super important. And this isn't about shouting from the rooftops or being um, aggressive or argumentative or, or conflict. This is where the Shailen master comes in because this is about being peaceful. We're using our energy tools. For so long, we have been quashed and made, uh, you know, made a mockery of light work, of energy tools, of crystals, of our spiritual work. And that needs to be over now. We need to stop letting that push us down. And we need to come into accepting those tools as being the way forward for ourselves. Of course, things like medicine and, and, and traditional medicine are important. Of course they are. But we can, we've also got other tools we can use to bring our light up. Okay? So I can't see anybody here. So I don't know why it's not showing me the comments. Maybe it will in a second. Okay. Now this is the guidance. So important. I found an eagle feather um, a few days ago. Um, unbelievable like that, that it, how it just appeared in front of me on my walk. So, and I've had lots of eagles flying over my head when I've been in the ocean or I've been walking. And it's a symbol that, that from, for me, but also for you, because I'm, I'm here as a, a guide, is to see this situation from a higher perspective. And by a higher perspective, we mean a positive perspective. We mean a divine perspective. We also mean by taking yourself back you are able to leave the fear and the conflict and the drama and, and, the, and the worry a little bit behind so that you can see it as if from above. There's a bigger picture, but also if you can see your own life and your own current situation from a higher perspective, then that's going to help you. It's gonna help you get the guidance and messages. And, and the ego is a symbol of great spirit, of creative spirit, divine spirit, the source. And it's a symbol that that source is with us for this. So what do you see when you see it from a higher perspective? What comes up for you? <laughs> Could it be any more perfect? Could it be any more perfect? So this card brings it back down to you. And you know how I spoke about the, the third eye being switched on and off? that feeling of it being switched off is when we go into panic, we go into our back brain, we go into fear, we go into ego, we go into looking at the, the um, negative, small, limited, lack-oriented, worst-case scenario, paranoia, doomsday stuff. So when you're in that state of your mind, you're not in your power, you're not your true self, you're not, you know, you are... Um, spirit being and physical being combined, you know, angel and, and earth being combined. So you're more in your fear. You're going to come from that in um, more sort of, I don't like the word animal because I think animals are, are some of the most enlightened beings, but you know what I mean. You're, you're not in your light power. So this card is saying, see beyond the current situation. See deeper. See, perhaps see it from a healing perspective. What are, what are the blessings? What is the good that's coming from this? See it from the perspective of spirit, as in we know um, as hard, you know, the hardest thing that us people, humans, have to go through during our physical life is the loss of a loved one. You know, the loss of a loved one and, and um, not being able to then feel them in the physical, not being able to um, hear their voice, all of the things, you know, when, or, you know, even if it's an animal, I'm still missing my bear, that we 
we miss their physical presence. But spirit, angels, great spirit is always reminding us they are still with us in spirit, just as we, when we cross over, when it is our time, whenever that is and never before, we go and out at our allotted time. And sometimes that seems terribly unfair, of course. Um, and I don't know the reason for that. But we have to trust that when we cross over, that we may leave our physical body behind, but we don't leave our essence, our spirit behind. And so even for those that are crossing over, they are going to the light. And so we can see that too and send blessings and love and not that we wish anyone to. Um, so this is showing that, you know, we, we go from the divine symbolized by the eagle to bringing it down to the physical and saying a third eye is switched on when you start to see through the eyes of love and see through the eyes of the eternal spirit and and the infinite nature of the universe and believe in a miracle believe in all of this coming out because the way you see it and this is what most people don't get about positive thinking it isn't pollyanna as in we just turn the worst into the best that's useful to a point but it's about how you see something changes it. So do you wanna be one of the doomsdayers who is adding to the heaviness and the darkness and the fear, or do you wanna be one of the light workers, the way showers, the guides, who are shining a light on the highest vision possible for what can happen and, and creating more light? And this is where we are at the moment. We're, we're in this you know, seesaw where the energy that we put out does make a difference. You, me, everyone. And so there's lots of people that are awakening right now to this. And there's lots of people that have been awake to it for a really, really long time. And our job as light workers who are awakened is not to judge the people that are not awake, but to help them to awake or to guide them or to lead them by example. So be the best you can be, in other words, and instead of judging, put, put light around everything. When I did the meditation um, for seeing the world healed, um, I saw lots of what looked like tiny black butterflies. Um, it wasn't butterflies, it was an energy lifting off of the earth, particularly over certain countries. And this darkness was just kind of like fading away. It was lifting up crumbling and, and moving and moving away, being transmuted. So I'm going to do that again later to visualize the earth wrapped in, in light. So here are your um, cards from Archangel Michael. Isn't it wonderful how mostly our children are protected at this moment? The children are protected. And this is what this message is. It says your children are watched over by the angels. And, and that extends to your family, to your fur kids, to the, the those that you care about. So send angels. Ask Archangel Michael to look after and protect your, your loved ones. And you can, you know, you can surround them with light, whatever it is that you want to do. But this is more of a message direct from Archangel Michael. It's the children, the children are protected. And then we have here. The second card, which is make a commitment. Um, and it's, do you ever have those times when sometimes you're really, really feeling a strong faith and you really feel connected to your angels and you really feel connected to source and it gives you a good feeling, you get synchronicities, you see signs, you just feel in the flow. And then other times you don't feel so much, you feel disconnected. And then the ego comes up with its inner skeptic talking about, you know, is this real, is this true? And then the doubt starts to creep in. And then it's like opening a crack of your window and all the mozzies start flying in, right? When you, when you um, open that doubt, then more and more negativity comes in, more and more ideas and, and fears and things that kind of drag you away from your faith and your um, positivity. So um, this is saying you need to reconnect, make a commitment, decide, the, the, the truth rather than waiting and hovering in doubt and skepticism. So that this is for those of you that have been feeling low faith, uh, low ebb, not feeling good recently. And to allow that faith to come back up, Archangel Michael is acknowledging you. And he, he and the your guardian angels and the other archangels are here with you, 
wanting you and encouraging you and supporting and protecting you into moving towards having courage in believing the truth, the light. So I love those cards. I will put them up on Instagram stories and Facebook stories a little bit later and I will um, choose which one I'll use for the reading for today on Instagram and you can check them out a little bit closer. So thanks so much for being here watching and listening. I can't see who's here so I'm sorry. Um, but I wanted to remind you about um, the masterclass, which is Awaken Your Soul Gifts, which is this coming Thursday at 10 a.m. Sydney time. So you need to, all you need to do is go to Google and put what is 10 a.m. Sydney time wherever you live, and it will tell you what time that will be um, on Thursday. So in the Northern Hemisphere, that is likely to be... Um, Wednesday night or Wednesday afternoon. Okay, so you can just check that out because all the clocks have changed. So <laughs> we're in a different time. We've gone back an hour, so everything is a little bit different at the moment. So make sure you check check that out against your time zone. You go over to my website. I've put the link in um, at the top of this post of this video. Click it, and you can just put your email in, and you will get a link sent to you for the meeting, um, and then. At the allotted time, you just click that link and you will get into the meeting and I'll be teaching you for 90 minutes. I'll take you through a meditation. We're bringing through um, angelic codes, activating your energy for this new, um, new shift that we're in, helping you to stabilize your energy, helping you to reconnect to source, but also helping you to open that third eye. I'll be talking about crystals and um, talking, guiding you through a meditation with the angels as well. So if you'd like to be there for that, you still can. You've still got time. It's it's this week. I did it Thursday morning because of Easter. I, I guess that people would be doing things. So please be there for that. I also want to let you know that I'm also um, providing a longer program, which is a four-week program about awakening your intuition. And this one's really powerful. I'm going to be teaching you some um, how to see angels, how to um, how to use tools like pendulum muscle testing um, and automatic writing to get direct clear answers from your angels. Um, I'm going to be, there's so much in that. There's, there's two whole healing sessions and there's four um, classes that I'm going to be doing on that program. Wasn't sure whether to launch it, but I guess, you know, now is as good a time as any and we, we need this work. We need to remember that we are holding the light for others and this, the stronger the light within you, the more you're offsetting that heaviness for, for the world. So we are together creating healing energy. So thanks so much and um, I'll see you through the week. Take care, angel blessings. RachelSkullTalk.com for, um, for that masterclass sign up. Bye.